Hi all, this is the uh, first clip I'm making from my outdoor area. Um, I've uh, basically sat on this end of the uh, table and balcony, but um, the background isn't as nice, I suppose, given all you see is a brick wall and a window. So I may look to try and get the table moved um, further up the balcony so that I'll be able to sit on the uh, end looking over the street essentially. Um, the only thing is this, at the moment it's uh, we passed, uh, yeah it's almost uh, 6 p.m in the evening and as such the sun is setting um, at around my one o'clock position so basically as you can see I'm being lit by the sun setting to uh, on, it, it's setting in that direction basically so that's my one o'clock more or less um, so I need to factor that in if I decide to have the camera face in that direction. Um, it was far quieter this morning, um, today being a Sunday, 7th of August, and um, now it's starting to get a bit noisier. Um, I didn't expect construction work to continue on a Sunday, um, but hey, being a third world country, there's no such thing as noise pollution rules as such. Um, and to kick off my evening, I'm about to draw some checks and um, while well, once I've done that, I'm going to open this virgin bottle of uh, Balvenie. This is the Caribbean cask, 14 year old. Um, I've tried so many of these over the years. Um, the triple distilled casks, the, the casks that I've got, um, well this is also Caribbean rum, um, and yeah this should be quite something. Balvenie is by far one of my favorite single malls out there, um, along with I would say Glenfiddich, uh, Glenlivet, which is hard to come by here relatively, but these two brands in particular are are stocked locally. Um, I do tend to snag the more interesting ones when I'm doing my runs to Singapore because the duty free is there. Uh, carry the higher end um, versions of these. It's not to do with price as such because for example you can easily get a 12 year old Balvenie and the usual snobs will, will turn the nose at 12 year old but for Balvenie, a 12 year old is still pretty fantastic because that's their double wood. Whereas, for example, I wouldn't touch uh, Johnny Walker, which is a blended for sure. I, I, I only go for the Johnny Walker blue. Anything less than that, so the, the black, it's, it's, it's just, I just can't drink it. It is, uh, I don't want to come up with colorful adjectives or name calling but Johnny Walker Red and Black are just completely off my list. Um, I'd rather have tap water, thank you very much, yeah. Um, but I, I'm going to get started on this balcony. Um, actually I can do a quick, well there's not much of an unwrapping but I can do a quick unwrapping on screen, why not? Um, just basically just grab this tab and the top comes off very easily and it's one of these metal shrink wrap that you find on a lot of these bottles um, and funny for a, for a vlog that's random and I, had, I haven't planned this at all it's turning into a whiskey um, whiskey related one so um, I normally go for the ice ball so yeah it's basically you have this 
um, rubber hole that you can get off eBay, which basically forms your ice cubes in the shape of balls. And the reason is when they're in, in the sphere form, it basically creates a denser form of ice and it melts at a far slower pace. Um, there are a lot of people who tend to... I've gone overboard with my ice today. I only go for two cubes, but it's really hot out here and I don't mind watering it down a bit. Now that's two inches straight off the bottle. That's that's the thing with balmany. Straight, even neat. It's so smooth. Mm. It is absolutely so smooth. Yeah. It is so smooth for a 14 year old that I actually will be more careful with the amount of ice I add in future because Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm basically sweating bullets. I'm basically living in Sri Lanka. Wherever I go I sweat bullets. It's just that even though I've technically was born here, the weather does not agree with me. So I spend most of my time in an air conditioned room. Air conditioned comfort. Um, but I much uh, prefer the weather of say London or um, the upper, the mountainous climate or climate here we have an area called Noralia. Um, it's basically 6,000 feet above sea level and it's known as Little England in Sri Lanka. Given that the climate is very similar to that of the usual drip drip you find on a well, usual day in London. Um, when it's overcast and, well, dripping ever so slightly. Um, and so, um, I think I'm going to conclude this very quick vlog. Just to say hi from my new perch. And it's quite, I mean, it's, it's crazy. I've basically lived in this house all my life. And we've never really used this uh, front balcony area as such. It's always been cordoned off and um, it's just been kept clean. But we've never had tables out here, sofas, anything of the sort. But um, I, I just thought that's just a crazy shame. So now I finally um, got the umbrella, which helps when it's. Uh, but the sun's beating down but at this time it's uh, not really needed as such um, and uh, uh, yeah I really look forward to working on this table um, because I can I got some interesting projects coming up and uh, the lighting here is so much better for videos I've got a three-legged thing right now in its uh, second to lowest position the legs can go out uh, a wee bit more. Actually, I'm going to take a photo with my iPhone so I can add it onto the video when I process it. And so you'll get an idea of what this looks like. Uh, so, ooh, exposure fun. So if I, if I expose for the, for the foreground, it kills it completely. But uh, here we go. So that's what that looks like. And I think I'm just going to take a shot of the scotch, the ice and the glass. and. I got some stuff on my desk. Oh, I might as well take out. I, sh I actually polished the Mont Blanc uh, Bali, which is a pen that I really love. And now I'm also carrying the uh, Alexander Dumas around quite a bit. So this is the one which has the fleur de lis on the nib. It's a scrumptious broad nib. I need to do another pen video. Um, there's a chap on IRC who was saying, hey Mike, you, you need to do some more uh, pen videos. Um, he was quite keen on seeing the rest of the pen stuff. So I will get around to that. Um, I think it's fair to say that um, my video cycle from now on will be filming on Sundays. Um, unless I have some urgency and I want to get it done before I get into work and stuff. Um, but I still haven't set uh, a regular release 
point per week on the channel but you can be uh, you can be sure to expect um, that I will be oh I can hear what sounds like a bee and that's scaring me a wee bit oh no no it's uh, it's uh, I think it was a sparrow Phew. yes I'm terribly terribly afraid of bees I was stung as a kid um, um, yeah, it's not a pleasant. It's not a pleasant thing to be stung by a bee. Um, I don't know that and that has completely rattled what I was saying. Um, but yeah, so I, I will. I don't know that I can stick to a regular schedule, but I will be um, producing more content, uh, hopefully on a more regular basis. Um, you'll find my last two vlogs were a bit odd because I was splicing in stuff from the future into the time when I had actually made the video so uh bad you might find there's some odd jumping around like i'm talking about something that's going to happen in the future and then suddenly i will cut through a scene when that thing i'm talking about has already happened back from the future i don't know yeah okay so it's getting a bit long on this clip so i'll leave you there um so give me a subscribe like um let me know what you think and yeah, it's just, just a bit more rambling from the uh, crazy Sri Lankan. Um, yeah, so until next time. Bye-bye.